Uh, we we still had too many turnovers. It's a problem. Uh, our turnovers are a problem, and we gave up too many fast break points. Uh, besides those things, I was very happy with our defensive effort again. Uh, I thought the we came out a little flat, and Michael Beasley and the second unit did a really good job of getting us started. And then from that point on, the rest of the guys uh, had a pretty pretty solid game. I uh, thought Zoe did a nice job again of picking up Booker and turning him and, and kind of being our first line of defense. And, and Josh Hart, I think, was a plus 32 uh, with five shot attempts, which speaks to you know the, the type of basketball he plays. You had so many points there, Luca. With Kuzma, you've talked about how he's been doing a lot of other things since early last season. He started scoring. How, how has that developed just from the start of this year to where he's been this last week or so? He's doing a much better job of, uh, of making the extra pass. It's still not every time, uh, and I get on him every time he doesn't make it, but he is doing a, a nice job of, of uh, for the most part right now, making the extra pass. And uh, defensively, he was he was good again today. We're putting him on uh, guys that play the point guard. We're putting him on guys that are centers, asking them to play switching coverage, asking them to play our scheme coverage. And uh, he's made a lot of progress with all of that. Luke, after the way you guys started that game, how vital were those couple minutes that Beasley had in the second quarter? And then beyond that, where do you view him in terms of your rotation these days? Uh, it, he was it, it was huge for us. I mean, we've we've had games like that where we we've seen what happens when we come out and we play a little soft and we're throwing the ball around. Other teams get get going and it's a long night trying to catch back up. So, what he and that second group did as far as cutting that off right then and then we slowly started taking control again uh, was a, a huge turning point in that game uh, as far as where he is. Uh, it's. I tell all, all of our guys, be ready. You, you got to be ready every night. Um, I, you know, I know players like to be knowing when they're going in and feel that that comfort of their rotation. But uh, we have a very deep team, and uh, you know, different nights is going to be different guys. But uh, as of right now, um, you know, he's done a really, really nice job the last couple of games. I would expect to continue to to play him uh, in the future. Luke, on that note, talking about the depth of this team, Mo got his first points as an NBA player tonight. Could you just talk about that moment with the arena reacting to that as well? Well, I think it <clears throat> speaks to the the culture our team has and the guys we have, uh, because obviously it's it's exciting any time a, a rookie gets their first points. Um, but if you looked at our bench, you would have seen, seen the other bigs. And bigs take pride in this. Uh, and JaVale and Tyson uh, jumping up and hitting the floor because they really are excited for him. You know, they work out against each other every single day. And I think that excitement kind of got the whole crowd to kind of recognize that it was our, you know, one our, our rookie's first NBA points, which is a special for, for anybody. But um, in a 20 point game for you know guys that have been in the league that long to be that excited for their teammates uh, you know speaks to the, the type of group we have. Coach, can you just expand you mentioned Josh Hart the plus minus 32 just what maybe in a little bit more depth what does that mean when when you watch his play tonight? Oh one it, it, it he was making winning plays all over the court. Uh, tonight and, and the plus minus doesn't always add up. There's times you're just on the court with other guys that are playing well, and you finish with a good plus minus. And there's times you're playing great, but your four other teammates are aren't getting the job done, and your and your minus is worse than it should be. But tonight, I thought I uh, pointed it out to the team because I thought um, it was directly related to how he played tonight, and it was uh, fighting over screens tagging on the weak side, getting a steal when they were kind of hurting us early in the game with those rolls to the rim, uh, making the extra pass. Every, everything we can always preach about playing, he was he were, he was doing those things tonight. Uh, and then he, you know, he knocked down a couple of shots too. Luke, this game kind of followed the script of um, the win the other night as well with the, with the slow start, early turnovers. Are you concerned at all about, about that trend? Maybe this is no. where you're not able to bounce back. I think today was just more timing and the early game, back to back Thursday, Friday. Uh, just it felt a little, uh, a little off. I mean, I, we've had some really good starts too recently, so I, I'd be more concerned if it was a bigger, uh, you know, 
sample size of these slow starts, but we've had some really great starts, and then we've dropped off after the first as well. So it's, to me, it's more about just continuing to build the consistency of playing the same way. Does Josh care when in the course of a game he's not getting the opportunity to score and, and being part of the offense that way? Uh, I think everyone likes to score. Um, it's not what's most important. Uh, what's most important is uh, winning plays and winning games. And uh, you'd have to ask him that. But I'm sure everybody wants to score. But he sure seems uh, like lately he's just been out there having fun and playing, you know, playing for the joy of playing and trying to win. When you say lately, when did you, like, how recently are you thinking? Uh, a couple games. Uh, he's had he's put together a couple of really nice games in a row now for us. Um, sort of on the plus minus, JaVale had a good plus minus. You had him playing, I think, nine minutes in the second quarter when that turnaround was happening, and then eight and only four for 12. What was his impact, or what was different about him defensively today? It, well, he, most nights he's pretty dang good for us defensively. I just, you know, I take him and Tyson out a lot around that six minute stretch because I like keeping them fresh. We asked them to do a lot for our defense as far as being, especially tonight before Booker got hurt, we wanted them up at the level on every screen him or Crawford was involved in. And then they have bigs that are rolling, so you got to get back, re all these things. So I just like keeping them fresh. But tonight I felt uh, that group was rolling and Javel was making plays on both ends of the floor. And he looked like he was he, he still had some good energy. So I, I, I kind of let him just ride out uh, until I thought he started to look tired, uh, which was around the three-minute mark. Luke, I, I know Mo doesn't play much, but what does he like in practice when you guys have him out there against your veteran players? He talks a lot. He, he <laughs> plays hard. <laughs> he, he talks a lot. He plays hard. Uh, he's very competitive, which we love. Um, and, and he's always, you know, He's he sets good screens. He can pass. He can shoot, um, and he he likes to talk trash. So it's it's a good combination for what we uh, you know what we encourage around uh, our practice facility. Do you believe in Phil Jackson' philosophy about what he's doing? What about his philosophy? Do I believe in it? Yeah. Are we we see the last three years how many rookies we play. Uh, yeah. No. Mm -mm. Hey, hey, Coach. Um, I'm sorry I missed it. Uh, or I may have missed it. That must have been a heck of a um, speech there between the first and second quarter and kind of what turned things around there. No, our, our guys, are they take a lot of uh, accountability and, and pride in what we're trying to do as a team. Uh, so it wasn't any yelling or screaming. It was just, let's, you know, it's, it's time to go. Like, let's start possession by possession, turning this thing around, and let's do it with our defense. And... They uh, they don't need to be yelled at a lot. Every once in a while, uh, it helps. But they, you know, they they they're professionals and they went out there and handled their business. And you thought a lot of that slow pace, st slow start, had to do with the timing. You think? I think it it probably threw us off a little bit. We've played, you know, two. You know, we played a back to back right before this one uh, early game on a Sunday. I you know I don't know. I'm I'm throwing that out as it, it felt the energy felt a little off to start the game. But once we we got grabbed that and took control, uh, we did a really nice job of holding on to it. Excellent job, actually. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, everyone.